Football, go through the tunnel. Go it. Go through the tunnel. Uh, go in. No. Uh, ball. <laughs> He's trying to pick up ball. Whoa, that's pretty good, Gray. You're so strong. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> he just threw it at the camera. Oh, good kicking. Kick it. <laughs> we love watching him work on his toys. It's so methodical. He's trying to get them in a specific spot. It's hard to do when you're a little baby. First he was playing with his train and fitting everything he could in the train. <laughs> now he's trying to put this little person in the fire truck. He got the back person on. He's so big. Oh, that doesn't go on the fire truck. That goes on the choo-choo train. It goes like this. You just got to push, buddy. So this is Grayson's favorite place to hang out these days. This is a box full of diapers. <laughs> he loves sitting in it, and he likes to take the diapers and throw them everywhere. He's also got some blocks from the other room and a medicine bottle. So these are the things Grace likes to play with. Do you need help? You got it. So yeah, I tried for the first time the Target up and up, like just the Target brand diapers, because a lot of people said that they were pretty good for being as cheap as they are. And um, I really, I mean like they're okay, but I really wasn't that impressed with them. Honestly, I like the Meyer brand ones way better than the Target ones. So, I, it was good to try once, but I think that's it. But you do get a lot of diapers for a cheap amount. It was like 192 diapers, and it was like, I forget how much it was, but way cheaper than like Huggies or Pampers. Um, I also have a box of Huggies diapers that I need to get through. I'll probably just be sticking with Huggies from now on, just because the quality of the diapers feels nicer, and I feel like they just absorb more and can hold more. And this is Grace's favorite book. Yes, Honk said a dump truck coming through. I have big important things to do. I haven't got time to pass the day with every duck along the way. I swear I have Little Blue Truck, the book, memorized now because Grayson makes me read it to him so much. Room. Room went the dump around a curve. He saw a puddle and he tried to swerve. Yeah, he likes making the room sound. And is this your, is this your, um, bear blankie? He does this new thing where he'll lay, and then I'll put the blanket over him. I am trying to figure out, like, if he's at that age, stage, whatever, where he's ready for a blanket in his crib. We're go getting into fall now. It's not too cold yet, but, like, once we get into winter and stuff, like, I'm wondering if I should, like, put this blanket in with him at night. The only problem is he fidgets a lot in his sleep, and he changes positions all the time, and so I wonder if I put a blanket on him, if it would even do any good, because I feel like he would just kick it off and then still be without a blanket. 
And I also worry that if I put something in with his crib, like, he'll think it's a toy and he'll want to play with it and not sleep. So I'm kind of debating, like, what I want to do. But I feel like he needs a blanket. Last year, we had him in swaddles. And so that was, like, a blanket attached to him. I didn't have to worry about it like, coming off or anything. And so that worked great. Obviously, he's not in swaddles anymore. So I'm trying to figure out, like, what to do with that. So let me know if you guys had had little kids or have little kids like what do you guys do when they're still on a crib do you use a blanket do you use a pillow i've heard there's no point in having a pillow until they move to like a big kid bed but let me know what you guys did and what your kids like i wanted to film because we have a couple things we we're gonna do today i wanted to which is crazy i wanted to go to uh the home depot on my own i hate going there unless it's with anthony and our upstairs master toilet is like leaking it keeps making this dripping sound and it is the most annoying dripping sound i've ever heard it, it just goes constantly and i want to fix it and anthony doesn't want to take the time to fix it so i've never fixed a toilet before but i thought hey why not try is this your monster book this is another one of his favorite books. It has a monster on it. It's got tons of words, as you can see, but obviously he doesn't care about it, so I just say monster the whole time. So anyway, yeah, I've never fixed a toilet before. Don't really know what I'm doing, but I Googled it. I think I have the problem figured out. It's like in the toilet bowl, and I need a new flapper, I think is what it's called, and they sell them at, like, Home Depot Lowe's and stuff. So I was going to take Grace, and we were going to try and find one, and then... With Anthony's supervision, I was gonna try to like fix it myself. I really don't know if I'll be able to do that, but maybe I can get Anthony to like record me trying to fix it. Is that Elmo? He loves Elmo books as well. Super sucks. The other night, this is totally off topic, but the other night, one of his Elmo, he has two pairs of Elmo jammies. One of them got a hole in them, and so I had to throw them away. I was so sad and Anthony was like, why are you throwing it away? Just keep using it. I was like, it's got like multiple holes in the back of it. Like I'm not gonna put him in holy pajamas when, ha when I have a ton in the closet. Uh, so anyway, yeah, uh, we're gonna try and fix this toilet and then if Grayson's good, I was gonna take him to a park. It's really, really cool out today, which is crazy because it's been so hot lately. So I thought it would be a good day to just go to the park. He's not crazy about parks yet just because like, he doesn't understand what to do with them and then the slides like I have to be behind him all the time I have to go on the slides with him I just feel like it's not as fun he just needs to be a little more independent and more confident but I figure we could go and try out a park but right now we're just reading our books and playing in our crib before we go the Home Depot really intimidates me. I don't know if that, if it intimidates any of you guys, but like, I obviously have no idea. I've never fixed up a home before. Yeah, a ball. When Anthony was younger, a ball, it has energy. When Anthony was younger, he helped his dad fix up, uh, build uh, his house. And so he's had a little experience in it and I, I've never done any of that. Like, I don't know anything about houses, but no, somebody's got to do some work around here and Anthony's been working crazy hours So I want to try and take some of that responsibility on myself. I don't know. Maybe I can do it and maybe I'll fail miserably the other Yeah, she's been a jeep. He's getting all his books out right now Oh Sheep in a jeep another one of his favorite books I like this book too because it has very short words on all the pages so I can actually like say the words so he really likes that one, except a lot of them are tongue twisters, so it's like I have to think about what I'm saying when I'm reading it. But back to my story, so I'm not always the best at fixing things up, even though I have good intentions of fixing it up. The um, A couple weeks ago, our light bulb went out on this um, on this light in our hallway, I'll show you. So right up here, the light bulb went out, and I was like, Oh, I'm gonna go fix it. <laughs> so I went and got the step stool. I got a new light bulb and I unscrewed this. Well, tried to unscrew it from the ceiling. Well, it wasn't coming loose and I don't know what I was doing. And then like the whole base of it was loose. So I was like, oh, maybe I just pull the base. 
bad idea, pulled the base, the whole light came out from the ceiling and there was like wires hanging and everything. And I was like, shoot. So Anthony was downstairs playing a video game and I went downstairs and I was like, Anthony, and he was like, what? And I was like, um, I think I broke the light. <laughs> so, yes, sheep in a Jeep. So, yeah, I had to have him come up and help me, and he ended up being the one to, like, put it back in the ceiling, and I thought I was going to have to go to the store and buy some stuff, but he was able to fix it for me, so that's why I was saying I need Anthony to supervise what I do, because I have good intentions of fixing things up, but it doesn't always go to my plan, so we'll see if I can fix this toilet. Sheep in a Jeep? Yeah, he's very angry that I'm not reading to him right now. So let me go read and I'll come back. But um, yeah, I have a couple ideas of things I want to fix around this house. There's a couple things here and there that I would like to fix. So I'm starting with the toilet and we'll see how it goes. So we made it to Lowe's and they have all of their Halloween stuff out for the first time. And Grayson is loving it. They have all these blow-ups. Some of them move. Do you like that? Oh, so cool. So we made it to the toilet fixing section. And I am overwhelmed because I don't know what to get. I didn't expect them to have this many options. And they have, they have just flappers. And then they have like flappers and valves, and they have kits, and they have like simple ones, and then complex ones. And then it's like, do I just get a flapper? Or is it a valve and a flapper? And then some of them are three inch, and some of them are two inch. I don't know what we have. So, so I just ended up, Grayson helped me. I just ended up getting this. It's got both. It says easy install, and it says it's universal. So hopefully it works. I also found this for Allison's classroom. She does little wall clings, so I thought it would be cute for Halloween. So that's what we're gonna go with. Hopefully it's what we need. Say yay! Can you clap your hands? Okay. We made it to the playground. We finished at the hardware store and now we are playing. Look at this cute little toddler sized playground. These are super hard to find. Usually when we go to playgrounds, we find like those where they're like for big kids. But this is so cute, it's for little kids, for little Gray Gray. Uh oh, we saw the big one. Gray, come over, come over here. Come on, let's go up the stairs. Look at this. Come on. It's so nice, super windy, so it doesn't feel that hot. Like they've got cute little, I don't know what you call these things, but they twist. So fun, Gray, and a little slide. In a tunnel. And down the slide. It's a little twisty. Can you do it? You want help? Go ahead. Look at this big boy. <laughs> Good job! Well, you gotta go back up. That's the slide. He keeps wanting to go up the slides. Yeah. This actually, I feel like I can let him play on this by himself. Like I don't have to be there 24 7. Come on, Gray, come up here. It's like this one, you have to like get up. Come on, Gray. Grayson is now in a huge soccer ball. I guess this is like a popular soccer field or something. They've got tons of baseball fields. Baseball field, baseball field. They've got tennis courts, basketball courts, but they must have soccer fields out. Oh, looks like back there. Yeah, so Grayson's loving it. He's got sand, his favorite, and a soccer ball. He loves balls. He's a total boy. Hey, uh, uh, don't eat it. Yuck. Yuck. Don't eat. Oh my gosh. Why is his first reaction to always eat it? I swear. Good thing.
morning, it's bath night. <laughs> so we are back from the park. We had a really fun time. I don't know why, but my phone has a flashlight on right now. So we're just going with it, but yeah, we're back from the park and we had a really great time. Um, Grayson got super dirty, like you saw, he was eating the sand, so we had to have a bath time. So we came home and Anthony got home from work and we had bath time and now we're just winding down in Grayson's room until he goes to bed. But I thought today was really successful. Hopefully sometime this weekend I'm gonna fix that toilet and I hope it goes well and I hope I fix it. So we'll see. Hopefully I got the right part. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we had a great day and it's the weekend now. So we're super excited to spend time with Anthony and we have a couple plans. So it's gonna be fun. I think we might mulch. Our house needs mulch really, really bad. And we've been trying to decide if we want black mulch or brown mulch, which I didn't even know mulch came in multiple colors. So just hopefully we get all that figured out. But yeah, we're just hanging out, reading our books. Ray likes this book because it's got a rocket ship in it. It's really cute. This is called um, Aerospace Engineering for babies. And it teaches babies about like how birds fl fly and how airplanes fly and um, how you need a rocket to go into outer space. Like it's really cool. Not the best for toddlers. 